I, I never use this software, so the whole thing may be a complete disaster. But um, it's just something so that I can write on here rather than writing on the board at the back, which is what I normally do, mm -hmm. with one camera, I think I would do everything here. Um, it, it works. Yeah. Okay. Um, how do you pronounce these two words? Love. 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 Money. Listen very carefully to your neighbours and see if you're pronouncing the two words in the same way as your neighbour. Love. 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 Money. 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 Do you think the O in the two words has the same pronunciation or different no. pronunciation? Different. 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 That's the problem. It's the same. It's the same. Money. Hi, Matthew, you've got to come and sit down here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Money. Um, the sound is the same. So one of them is probably wrong. If I put up this symbol, does that help? That's ah. That's the ah of ah. Love. 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 So now check your neighbour's pronunciation, and now you've got two neighbours, yeah? Um, and check that your and your neighbour are doing it the same. Money, I love. 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 So you, you, you got it perfect now. Now the next thing is to ask your neighbour this question: which is more important, love or money? Which is more important? Both. Love. 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 Love quite complex is to get the pronunciation of love and money right but also that when you're talking about love and money in English you don't have the article in Spanish it would be el amor y el dinero but in English it's love or money which is more important and different people have different answers to that. Um, How do you pronounce these two words? Mm. Check with your neighbour and see. Men, woman, woman. Men, 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 woman, woman, women, 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 women. Women is right. That's women. it. It's women. 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 So women. this sound women. here is is this one, and this sound here is this one. It's women. Women. E -e. Women. Women. And this is just a. E. It's men. Men, men and men. women. Men and women. But also, when you're talking about men and women, you don't use the. So. Are men more intelligent than women, or are women more intelligent than men? Is not a question that we're going to investigate. But <laughs> if you're making generalizations about men or women, you mustn't use the article. Mm -hmm. um, on the other hand, I I I, I see in, in some cases when um, when write a, an article in the title. Uh, sometimes use the, the money, something like that, no? It shouldn't do, it shouldn't do. If you're talking about money in general, it never has the, it never has the article. If you're talking about the money in my pocket, then it has the article, because that's it. The money questionnaire? Yes, but it's because it's the questionnaire. Okay. See, it, it's a questionnaire. Which questionnaire? It's the money questionnaire. So you've got the and then money, but because you've got the word questionnaire. Oh, okay. okay. If you're going to make generalizations about men or women, you can also do it by talking about a man 
for uh, sorry. Can you now check your neighbor's pronunciation for those two words? A man, a woman, woman. 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 Yeah, so, so this is the, the one that's the really difficult one to, to write, the cat, man. Yeah. Um, and th this one here is wo, 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 big monkey, woman. And, and this one here is just the, the, the schwa. Yeah. So a man and a woman, men and women, love and money. So it's partly a pronunciation exercise, but it's partly how do you make generalizations about love, money, men, and women. And we'll do an exercise later where you can say, this is more typical of a man. This is more typical of a woman. This is more typical of men. This is more typical of women. You can, you can use that phrase with the plural, or with the singular counterpart, with uh. Okay. So, that, that's kind of the first part of the lesson. very similar in English and Spanish. The main situations are exactly the same. The, the first time you mention something or a person, for example, I saw an old man with a dog. It's exactly the same in Spanish. Yeah? Uh, when you say what something is, it's a nice house. It's an interesting book. This is a little bit different. When you say what somebody does, in English you say she's a lawyer. And in Spanish, you just say, yes, yeah. you, you don't put the article, but in English you do. So that's one thing you've got to remember, to use the article with jobs, and things like, she's a housewife, yeah. um, he's a teenager, mm -hmm. she's a widow, all these things like that. Um, <clears throat> Excellent formations in English, with singular countable things. What an awful day. What a wonderful day. What a stupid mistake. Mm. Yeah? Now, in English, those all go with the article uh, but not in Spanish. You would change the order, que fallo mas espantoso, or something like that. But in English, it's what an awful mistake. What a terrible mistake with uh. And this thing, I think, came up the other day when we were talking about per and uh. And I was saying that uh is actually what people use in conversation three times a week, um, once or twice a week. So there's, there are three things there that you need to learn. But the basic things, which are the first two, are exactly the same in the two languages, so I don't think you have to worry. Um, and the use of the, the first one is exactly the same. When you talk about something we've already mentioned. So, I saw an old man and a dog, and the dog was barking. It's exactly the same in Spanish. Yeah. In a sense, for me, that's the definition of indefinite and definite article. But when there's only one of something, so the moon goes round the sun. On our planet, the moon identifies what you're talking about. If you lived on another planet, the moon might not actually be sufficient. Mm -hmm. When it's clear what you're referring to, he opened the door. Well, you understand from what has been in the story before which door it is. If he was in prison, it's the door of the cell. If he was in the bathroom, it was the door of the bathroom. The door is sufficient. But that's the same in Spanish. Um, now, places in a town like the cinema and the theatre, He's going to the cinema. You use the same thing in Spanish. It's, it's al, al cine. It's just joined together. The cinema, the theatre, things like that. 
Um, with superlatives, it's the best restaurant in town. Same in Spanish, isn't it? La mejor. So, if you look at all these things, there are only three things here which you really need to worry about. Yeah. She's a lawyer. What an awful day, and three times a week. So, I mean, if you want to take some notes, those three sentences would be perfect things to write down in your notebook. Just that, yeah? If you write it in your notebook, you've got encapsulated in three very short phrases the only thing there is to learn, well, nearly the only thing. But it's probably better not to write it in the textbook, but to write it in your notebook, where you've got a little sort of list of things you must learn. So, she's a lawyer with jobs, what an awful day with exclamations, what a delicious wine. Could be the good things and bad things, mm. and three times a week. The pity is that that is not the end of the story. <laughs> That's the beginning of the story. <clears throat> That's the easy part. Yeah, the definite article, everything there is the same in English and Spanish, Catalan and Italian and, and French, many languages. I, I, th I suspect the problem is that if you speak Japanese or Chinese, it may be different in all of these cases. So what we're going to look at now is when you mustn't use the. And this is where the problems begin. Um, when you're speaking in general, women talk more than men. Yeah? Apparently this generalization is true. I think I sent you an article which stated that according to a recent piece of research, women say 21,000 words a day, and men only say 7,000 words a day. So if I stop in the middle of the lesson, it will be because I've reached word 7,000, and I mustn't continue. So when you're making generalizations, love is more important than money, women talk more than men, you don't use the article in English and you do in Spanish. Another area which might cause problems. Um, we don't use the home, the work, the school and the church. We use school, work, home and church. For example, she's not at home today. Go home. I came back from work. She's at school. All of those use the article, the definite article in Spanish. Yeah, and you've got to remember that in English, we don't. Um, meals. We never use the article with meals. It's breakfast, lunch, dinner. Yeah. Um, we don't use it with days of the week. El domingo? No, it's on Sunday. No article there. And, and months. In, in, do you in Spanish use it with months? De julio? De julio? No. 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 So it's not a problem there. So it, it's really meals and days both of which are sometimes used with the. Mm. Yeah, in English, they're not used with the. Um, this is a very important one. We don't use the with next and last. See you next week. I'm sorry I didn't come last week. Yeah, Next week and last week, next month, last month, you don't have the. But if, if you refer an only one week, like the, la the last week, no, no, it's last week. Yeah. Last week. Um, when in Spanish you say la semana pasada, it's, in English it's, it's last week without the. Um, now, there is a little complication here that makes it more exciting. You can say for the last month, for the last week, but it's got to be for the last week, for, and it means durante, siete días, yeah. So, um, I haven't had the problem again for the last week. I've been very busy for the last month. Not last month, you mean for the previous 30 days. Last month is, was February, February, but the last month is 30 days back from now. But for you,
just think, it's never the next week, it's never the last week. You'll make one mistake in a hundred. But if you do it the other way around, you'll make 99 mistakes out of a hundred. Okay, so, let me just back that out. But can I get you to close your books? How do I stop it?